everyone. My name is Joy, and I'm a second year grad student here at SDSU, and I work in Roland Wolkovich's lab. So the name of my talk is, the, is Competing with Zika Virus, and the reason this is my title is because we study viruses in the Wolkovich lab, and particularly we look at drug development um, to help humans fight these viruses. Um, so the virus that I work with in particular is Zika virus. And the Zika virus is a positive sense, single-stranded RNA virus. And um, it is part of the Flaviviridae family. And other viruses that you may have heard of are West Nile virus, dengue virus, and hepatitis C virus. So obviously this viral family is a huge problem for humans and causes a lot of terrible diseases. And so our goal is to develop ways to screen for drugs that can help us um, find ways to fight these viruses. And we do this by looking at the viral life cycle. And if we want to see the life cycle of Zika virus, when it enters the host cell, it will embed its genome in the ER where it will replicate and translate and then eventually undergo assembly maturation, where the viral um, particles are then released, where then they can reinfect a new host. So the step that I look at particularly is the maturation process. And with Zika virus, the maturation process involves a host enzyme called furin. And so furin uh, is part of our cells. It has many different functions. Um, it's an enzyme that goes around and cuts different things within our cells, you could say. Um, however, its interaction with Zika involves cleaving this uh, pre-membrane membrane complex, which is part of its structural proteins. Um, and so when furin comes in and cuts the PRM, it then can mature and be released and reinfect. So we are looking at different ways to screen for competitors for this uh, cleavage process. And so the coolest part is if we can find different chemical compounds, could be com compound A, compound B, or maybe it's compound C, that can either outcompete for the cleavage site or maybe even compete with furin itself to prevent this cleavage from happening. So if we can prevent the cleavage from happening, then that means that we can prevent maturation, which then can prevent reinfection. So if we can find a novel uh, competitor for uh, Zika virus, then that means that we can create a new drug that will help hopefully hundreds of or thousands of people. Thank you. Thanks for watching another presentation here at the Science Class. If you want to know more about the research that you just heard about, check the video description below for a link to that lab's website. And if you want to see more presentations like this in the future, you can subscribe to us by clicking this button here. Thanks very much.